minute drive at the end of the game. Just looking back on that, uh, I guess what was your perspective on that series and not being able to get off the field? Yeah, well, I'd say on that particular drive, we had numerous opportunities to get off the field. We just we didn't really help ourselves out either by um, you know, just not, not making plays that we can, we should. And uh, we're missing some tackles. I think we missed six tackles in that drive. So you know, there's there's just a lot of reasons why anything like that happens. And uh, yeah, I, I, you know, if we're if we're at our best, that's a it's probably a three and out. That's what it should have been. So, um, but then we had we had more chances. And you know, that's something that's quite honestly it's happened the last couple of games that we've had. So uh, something we obviously need to you know keep addressing with our with our guys. And um, I don't think it has anything to do with letting letting off the gas or not not playing as hard or is it sometimes it's almost trying too hard um to to do something so um but we know we got to finish stronger and uh you know we, we you know we gotta we gotta respond better in some of those situations and uh, we're you know it's, it's that close but that's you're you're that far away too at the same time during non-conference play has any aspect of the defense surprised you or been better than you expected I think we've responded good to situations that have come up in the game for the most part. Um, I think our red zone defense has significantly improved and just in terms of uh, keeping teams out of the end zone. Um, I, so I, I like that part. Um, um, you know, our third down, our third down play has been better. And now there's been some key third downs that obviously haven't, but um, you know, in some of those areas that we were really, really below the standard at last year, we've certainly picked up the pace. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, quite honestly, I think we're doing a good job for the most part of run defense. You know, quarterback got away from us a little last game, but probably whatever, two thirds of his yards are after we've missed him. So, um, you know, we've, it's not that we're not defending, it's we gotta, we gotta finish uh, some of that stuff better. So, and then quite honestly, I, I feel like our, you know, we, we haven't got a lot of turnovers, but uh, our past defense has been, Pretty solid. We, we've um, you know defended a lot of passes pretty well, a lot of pass concepts pretty well, but uh, you know we haven't you know disappointment things would be finishing in the fourth quarter and quite honestly our, our turnover production isn't what it needs to be. We're we're way behind in that category. Is there something that can be done to like force more turnovers? Is that something that can well, be controlled? Well, yeah, yeah, sometimes, but. Um, Quite honestly, a lot of it's just okay. The opportunities are there. You got to make good. Okay, there's a fumble on the ground. We need to recover. Um, you know, we do work on fumble recoveries, and you know, there's techniques involved and things you want to do, which we didn't do any of those, and when it counted in the last in the last game. So, but um, you know, as I always say, to me, the most of the time your turnovers happen um, when you when you speed an offense up, you make them make decisions before before they're ready and, and they're going to make some bad decisions and, and throw you the ball sometimes or uh, or put the ball on the ground so um, you know we've um, you know t sometimes turnovers happen sometimes they don't I don't think we've been fully taking advantage of all the opportunities we've had you mentioned people even trying too hard in some cases and the idea of guys pressing has come a couple times over the last couple of weeks just how do you deal with it when you see your players doing that while also still wanting them to put in as much effort as yeah. possible? Yeah, you, know, you, you know, you can't play, you can't play with clenched fists, you know, and so, um, you know, we just got to be able to, you got to have confidence, but you've got to, you've got to let the game flow as well. And, and so, you know, it's, that's it. It's, we have expectations of ourselves, but, um, um, you know, we can't, you can't just force things to happen all the time. Um, you know, I felt like on the, on the on the fumble. You know, like in that on that last drive, we missed it once, we missed it twice, and literally we've got about a half dozen guys uh, right on around the ball, and every one of our guys knock each other off the ball, and it ends up bouncing to one of their guys who's standing there. So, um, you know, that's I can't fault guys' effort. We just we just can't press so hard all the time. That's that's it. And I guess the answer is just to to you know play confidently, play fast, um, and again. Um, let make the plays that you should. Don't feel like you got to make every play uh, that's out there every time. Brad, right, what do you see from West Virginia? And then, are they similar game by you played this year? Um, they're they're in some ways they're similar to most of the teams we played this year. They're they're doing similar things. Um, 
I, I feel like West Virginia's got a re really good offense. They're, they're, I think they return eight starters. They've got a lot of experience returning. Their offensive line looks pretty salty uh, with, some, you know, with some really high-end players. Um, quarterback is uh, very nifty, kind of, I don't know, point guardish, you know what I mean, where he's, um, he's, he's, he's able to make the plays they want him to, but then he can also uh, create some, some situations and make plays that way just with his feet and quickness and things. So, um, and I think they've got a good one-two combination in the backfield, uh, uh, you know, a guy that's kind of faster, a little smaller, faster, and then a, then a big back. So, and the receivers, are, they're all capable. So, I, you know, I, and they've got a six, seven tight end. That's a really good pass receiving tight end. So I don't, I don't know where their weaknesses necessarily are. They're really balanced, uh, run, pass, and score, score a fair amount of points. So we, we can't go out, we can't go there and stumble around or, um, they're a team you're, we're not going to beat them. We got to we got to be at our best and, and playing our best defense and quite honestly as a team or or there's going to be real tough to win. Does it help when you play a mobile quarterback that can run like in back to back weeks? And you mentioned some of those like coaching points. Does that help? Yeah, I think it. I think it has. We've we've carried over a couple things that we probably did last week or even stumbled into last week. Some we've we've carried some of those things over and. Um, Certainly, after last week, a mobile running quarterback, uh, if, if it didn't have our full attention, it does now. And our guys watch film, they, they, see, what, they see what the guy from West Virginia is gonna do or can do, so um, we're, uh, we're pretty dialed into it. And I, I know that he can't, he, he can't, we can't let the guy get away from us that way, or that just, I mean, it opens up everything for him when that happens and puts you at a real disadvantage. Tommy and Caleb started uh, at defensive tackle on Friday. Just what do you think of their showing in that game and the potential for them going forward? Yeah, I think they're both good. Again, I, Tommy Dunn's been our defensive, one of our defensive players of the week for the last couple of weeks. He's played really well. Um, he's practicing well. Um, he's really he's really taken to the you know the, to some of the details of coaching and the way they're supposed to be done. And it's, he's doing it. You know, he's he's big dude. He's extremely strong. Um, he's quick, um, good athlete, and and so. Um, again, he's really he's really leveled out his game, and as I would say, you know, for guys, we want guys to consistently play at a high level and occasionally be great. That'd be awesome, right? We you know we can't have had the the highs and the lows, and Tommy was kind of a high low guy in his past, and he's he's really playing consistently well now, and then he's but he then he shows up and makes some great plays. So him and Caleb are doing a good job. DJ Withers is doing a good job. Blake Harold's doing a good job. Keenan Caldwell's you know he's. He's got a certain type of a role for us, and he's he's really doing well in the role that that we have. Um, you know, some of our, particularly some of our short yardage calls, he's doing a, a really good job. Um, so I'm happy with those guys. Um, you know, there's not there's not a position really not happy with. Um, we just we just if we just finish games, uh, I'll be I'll be happier. If Jason keeps uh, missing time, and just who do you expect to rely upon? That happens. Well, like I said, last game it was uh, Alex Wright stepped in there and played. So um, I know I know there's other guys. Taiwan Berryhill can really play any of our linebacker spots. So he gets he gets reps at that position as well. Um, and and so I, like I said, I think I feel for Alex Wright. That's the this his first like real time that he's played significant game reps and you know, for the most part, did a really good job. So I uh, played solidly and we're not asking him to do things, you know, outside of outside of what his capabilities are. Um, you know, we he plays in certain personnel packages, he doesn't in others. So um, yeah, I think it's I think it's working out well for him because it keeps him in, in his niche. We talked last week about Marvin having a good game against Illinois. The snaps went down a little bit. What contributed that? Well, again, for the most part, it has to do with who the offense has in the game. So there's, there are personnel packages that we have that um, if, they're, if they're in that personnel group, guys play. If they're not, they don't. So it just happened to really be one of those games where, where they, they were enough in another personnel group that, um, where he was off the field. So Marvin's doing a good job. It doesn't, there, his, his diminish of reps uh, last week has nothing to do with um, anything else other than really that. And so, yeah, he's one of our best players. I know he needs to get on the field. He's a good producer when he's out there. So, um, but, uh, you know, 
not just talking about Marm, just talking about anybody. It's it's a competitive atmosphere and guys that you know produce, guys that practice well, guys that earn, um, you know, play. So he's he's one of those guys, but there's other guys back there as well that that have earned some playing time. So um, so it's it's kind of it's it's kind of a fluid situation, but but there was nothing other than specifically to that other than when they were in a certain personnel group he wasn't in. And they happened to be in that personnel group probably more than most teams. So anything else, Coach Borland? All right. Thank you.